Uh, hey, Mark. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, hi, Eric. Um, I bought two books on content marketing writing, but I only have time to read one, and I just can't decide which one's worth my time. Well, who are the authors? Well, this one's by Ann Handley. Oh my gosh, she's like one of the best experts on content marketing, like, ever. She just won the first ever Content Marketing Hero Award at Content Marketing World. And, by the way, she'll be a keynote speaker again at Next 10X in 2019. So really excited about that. But, but what about the other book? Who wrote that? Oh, it's by uh, Anonymous. Looking for reliable information? Who wrote the book matters. And the same goes for your site content. Here's why. So Mark, Google has shown some interest in authors behind web content for some time, haven't they? Yes, but it seems to pop up in spurts. I mean, it goes back at least to their agent rank patent, which proposed a search ranking factor based on a quality score and attributed to various agents or entities associated with a web page. And one of those would be the author or authors of the content on the page. And so did Google do anything with that? Well, we don't know for sure. Companies like Google take out patents to protect the intellectual property of their ideas, but having a patent doesn't mean they ever actually have to use it. So what was the next time Google showed interest in authors then? Well, that was the big one, and we call it Google Authorship. Now, Authorship was a program that allowed authors and publishers to cross-reference each other using schema markup, allowing Google to verify the author of a given piece, as well as see all his or her other content. A few months after announcing that, Google began showing author photos and bylines next to some content that used markup. So was authorship a search ranking factor then? We never found any evidence that it was. And Google representatives said that while they might use it as such in the future, they weren't at the time. Still, it was a significant experiment with a lot of investment from Google, seeing as it lasted three years. So that's interesting, but anything more recent? Well, yes, a couple of interesting things just in the past few months. Now, the first one came in July of 2018 when Google released an update to their Search Quality Raters guidelines. That's the training manual for their Search Quality Raters, humans who help evaluate the quality of search results. The new version had significant additions that directed the Raters to look into the expertise, authority, and trustworthiness of the authors of web content. So does that mean author reputation is now a search ranking factor? Well, again, we can't really say that. We know that something being mentioned in the guidelines does not mean it is a direct ranking factor. Nevertheless, it certainly indicates Google thinks the qualifications of an author are an important gauge of content quality. Now, there was one more small but short-lived piece of evidence. For a couple of weeks in August 2018, we discovered Google was experimenting with displaying an interesting finds box in mobile search results for some prolific authors. The box contained links to more content by or about that author. Now, while I can't find those anymore, I found it very interesting that Google was experimenting with something like that. So if we can't be sure whether any of this directly affects search rankings at this point, what's your takeaways for our viewers? Well, while I agree it would be presumptive to say that Google is actively using author reputation right now in search rankings, I think it's undeniable that Google continues to show an interest in authors. So my first takeaway would be if you're trying to build search authority with expert level content and investment in using well-known authors who have a good reputation in the topical area of your content might be a good future-proofing search tactic. Now by that I mean if Google ever does decide to turn up the knobs on author reputation, you'll be ready. Now that may be particularly important since we've had recent evidence that Google is turning a hard eye toward your money or your life YMYL type content. YMYL is anything that affects a user's personal well-being or finances. Now, if you have that kind of content, I would highly recommend using reputable, authoritative authors. Yes, and we've seen an increased effort by social media sites and Google to crack down on fake news and da mm -hmm. dangerous pseudoscience. Who authors the content could be an indicator that it's really important. Right you are. But my other takeaway is that whether or not Google is watching your authors for search rankings, it's still a good idea to have the best authors you can for your content. Google put that in their rating guidelines for a very good reason. Real people care about it. Now, especially, as you've mentioned, in this era of fake news awareness, more people will stop 
to scrutinize the source of content, including who wrote it. Thanks, Mark. If you like the kind of insights Mark gave you today, then you need to be watching our Here's Why videos every Monday. And the best way to do that is to use that subscription link that you'll see in a moment. Well, Mark, did you decide which content marketing book to read? You know, what you said about Anne Hanley's book was pretty enticing, but I ended up going with Anonymous. Why? Well, it seems like all the best authors use just initials for everything but their last names. I mean, J.K. Rowling, H.G. Wells, J.R.R. Tolkien. So I figured, A, anonymous. Got to be great, right? And how did that work out for you? Not so great. Uh, turns out A. Anonymous's tips for improving your writing boil down to use sharp pencils and don't write while drunk. Ah, so don't put him on the speaker list for our next 10x conference? Probably not. 